What if you could just dip your toe in retirement? Try it on, see how it feels, give it a little whirl and see if you're gonna have fun or not. Well, you know, you don't just wake up retired one day. You could wake up fired from your job, not like the financial independence retire early type of fired. That takes planning and so does your retirement. So whether you plan for it correctly or incorrectly, eventually one day you're gonna be able to quit work and live the good life of being retired. So today let's talk about a few ways where you might be able to try it on, give it a whirl and test your retirement before you jump into the deep end. Shut up and sit down. Just in case you're new here, my name's Jeff. This is the Retirement Mentality Channel, a place where I want to change your mentality about retirement, the way you invest, the way we retire, the way your parents did it. It's all changing. It's all different. It's more about passive income. And we talk a lot in this channel about investing in real estate, how you can create that passive income instead of just trying to save a lump sum of $10 million or a million dollars or whatever scary number that just prevents a lot of people from getting into retirement to start with. So if those things are interesting to you, you're in the right spot. Today, we're gonna to talk about different ways you can sort of test out retirement. And one of those ways is something that I learned about from Paula Pant. Uh, if you never heard of her, she's a good blogger. She's a great blogger. She's been around for a long time. She's sort of one of the gurus of the fire movement from way back when. And she talked about a way where you could do sort of little mini retirements along the way, maybe call it a sabbatical, call it a gap year, where you maybe take a year off and, and then go back to work instead of just retiring all at once. And this might be easier said than done for a lot of different jobs. Maybe your job's not going to let you just take a year off and come back and they're going to save a spot for you. Uh, but, you know, for myself, you know, I'm in sales. I've been in real estate. I've been a realtor for a long time. So I can sort of dial it up and dial it down. You know, if I stop trying to make the phone ring, the phone pretty much stops ringing. So I can really slow down how much work is coming in, how many clients I have just by sort of the amount of effort that I put into it. So, you know, I think COVID has changed this for a lot of people. A lot of people can work from home now. So instead of even taking a gap year, maybe you can see if your job will let you work remotely or work from home for a year or six months or a couple months as a trial period. And if you could do that, you could, you could go live in Mexico or go live in Europe or go travel and try to do your job or even just being at home takes a lot of the stress off. So maybe you could do that if you can't take a full gap year. But these are some ideas of maybe taking little intermittent retirements or, you know, maybe if your job is too stressful and horrible, you can switch careers and in the middle of it, take six months off and then spend some time looking for a new job and a new line of work and just, you know, change gears. And so taking a mini retirement, switching gears, taking a break, changing, changing um, industries or even just slowing down, dialing back or trying to do some work from home type of things are ways where you can sort of let your mind see a little bit more what it's like just to not go into work every day, to be in the daily grind every day, to get out of that long commute. Some of those things might help you see a little bit more clearly what it's going to actually be like when you can retire, when you're at home all day. Maybe you, when you're home all day, it makes you crazy and you're like, you know what, I'm not ready to retire. That's sort of the, the, the point of this exercise is to test your mentality about retirement and see if you're actually ready to retire and see how your brain feels stepping into some of those new roles of just not going to work every day. Sorry if I sound a little bit off. I've been sick for like three weeks. I can't shake this thing. I think I'm getting well and then I'm getting sick again. So I'm trying to post some videos here on the days I feel a little bit better. I, I sound a little bit weird in my head. So hopefully uh, it's not too, too distracting for you guys. I'm trying to, trying to tough through it here. For those of you who can't dial it back, can't take a sabbatical, can't take a gap year, can't take a year off or a mini retirement, well, that's okay because you can still test some of your retirement theories, some of your numbers. You know, one of the biggest problems that people have about planning for their retirement, and you hear this everywhere, if you're watching any of these other retirement videos, you see uh, you have to retire to something. You can't just retire from your shitty job to sit at home and watch Netflix all day. You gotta retire to something. So you gotta figure out what you want your life to look like in retirement. And in figuring out what you want your life to look like, you can figure out how much that life is gonna cost. You know, when we retire, sometimes we just cut work out and then you live sort of the same lifestyle. But a lot of people, once they retire, they, they move maybe to be closer to the grandkids, to spend more time with their kids and their grandkids and help take care of them. or 
Maybe you want to move out of the snow and you want to move to Florida and you want to go golfing every day. Well, that's expensive. Or you want to finally buy the boat and be the fisherman and go fishing every day. Well, that's expensive. Maybe you want to become a full-time traveler or you want to travel three months out of the year or six months out of the year or just increase that travel budget. So you've really got to figure out, oh, look at this guy just landed on my dock back here. He's going to take a big poo on there. So you've got to figure out what you want your uh, retirement to look like so that you can figure out how much your retirement is going to cost. And when you figure out how much that retirement is going to cost, you can come up with a new budget. So if you can't test being retired and sitting at home or doing the travel or working remotely, you can test some of your budget ideas. You can, if you figure out what that budget is going to be in retirement, you can kind of try to gate, look at your current budget and compare the two of them and see how it's going to actually stack up in retirement and try to actually live on those numbers. Maybe the numbers are a lot lower. If you're trying to retire on less and you can, you know, you're going to just have social security plus a little bit of savings and maybe a small pension or most people don't get a pension anymore. So if you figure out what you're going to have to live on and you figure out what that budget is, you can try actually living on those and just sort of litmus test those actual retirement numbers. Another thing you can test is how you and your spouse might feel about retirement. I'm actually working on sort of a couple's retirement test. Leave me a comment down below if it's something you might be interested in. I'll make it as a free PDF. I thought you, uh, two spouses could print it out and then answer them individually and then compare their notes. But it's gonna have questions like, at what age do you think you're gonna retire? Maybe you guys have different ideas of what age you think you're gonna retire. Maybe those ages don't match up. And then when one spouse retires, the other one still goes to work. There's a lot to work out emotionally there. I'm actually planning to make a whole video just on this topic, so leave me a comment down below if that sounds interesting to you as well. You see, my, my, my wife and I actually retired at different times, and you have to figure out, you know, there's some guilt when you're going to go out sailing with your friends and your wife is at work or to go play golf uh, all day and your wife is at work or she comes home and she doesn't know why the house is all clean and she expects you to you know do all the housework because now you're at home and maybe you just needed some vacation time but especially when you're new to this whole retirement thing so there's a lot that needs to be discussed as far as you know like another thing I was going to put on my little quiz was you know like how much money do you think we should have in the bank um, I have a list here of a few things, so, you know, monthly budgets, how many weeks do you want to travel? Um, are we going to keep one car? Are we Are going to have two cars? Some things that you might not have thought to talk about. I was thinking about putting this all into a PDF. So leave me a comment down there. If that's something you're interested in, I'll make it free. You guys can download it. So what do you think about the idea of testing out retirement? Maybe you have some ideas of how you might have tested it or some other things you could think of, of how you could test out retirement and see if it fits for you. Leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, go watch this video with some of the mistakes you can avoid in retirement. If you like this video, you're definitely going to like this one over here and we'll see you in the next one.